Hey guys, Brick Stuff here. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I, uh, I've been really busy lately for like the past long while, but I'm finally uploading again. So, yay. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a custom, uh, Megabox Call of Duty figure that I just, uh, made not that long ago, and I basically based him off of a Desert Storm trooper or soldier marine or whatever you want to call it, but... So, here he is. Uh, shoot, the lighting's really bad, but, um, let's see if I can change that one second. Alright, there we go. Well, basically, he is in the chocolate chip or, uh, desert, uh, cookie dough, desert BDU, whatever your camo you want to call it, but he's painted in that. He has... Not really sure. I mean, it's up to your imagination. You can use it as an SR20. I mean, you could pretend it's an SR25 with an extended mag. I use it as like a just a scoped in M16, pretty much like an A3 or 4, something like that. And um, I had to paint this because it was an ugly white and it's actually getting scratched off. I should probably redo, reapply the paint. But um, basically, this was really white and I really don't have a use and I don't even think if anybody was going to the snow they would paint their guns all the blindingly white so yeah and then um basically pretty much everything on him is painted except for his gloves his backpack these little pouches here I'll actually disassemble him but he's got a boonie hat and um take off his head here he has this bandana, and this actually used to be a dark green, but I painted it all the way through, and I used, uh, like, Testor's enamel paint for modeling, and, um, it actually works pretty well. You just have to give it a while to dry. He has his rucksack right here, and I don't know if you can tell, but basically, this was the horrible, what I like to call guacamole green that Megablox does, and I painted it olive, so... Let me see, I think I have one right here to compare. Yeah, right here. So this is the original color, and it's horribly non-matchy with this. So this is basically just the little rig that is has his little mag pouches, and then he's got his rucksack which you would usually drop as soon as you got into a firefight like you'd get to cover you'd drop it and then you would continue fighting because you don't want to be in a firefight with a gigantic backpack that weighs like an exaggeration gajillion pounds depending well I don't really know what the actual weight is depending on what you would have in there but um uh, his legs, I don't know if you can see underneath there and underneath here, there's a, they were like that light tan color that Megabox uses, but, um, everything on here is painted. There's no, none of the original color on this except for the boots and the gloves and the other, like, accessories like the bandana and the rucksack, but, yeah, so... Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you liked it, leave a like and subscribe. And I will be uploading much more now. I will not be just leaving you guys in the dark, I guess. So, yeah. See you guys later.